Virgo, the Virgin, August 24th through September 23rd. How to recognize Virgo. Only mustard isn't a bird, Alice remarked. Right as usual, said the Duchess. What a clear way you have of putting things. Virgo is a sign of the Virgin, but you can't take the symbolism too literally. I can assure you that a September birthday is no guarantee of virginity. Although lots of Virgos remain bachelors and spinsters, there are also plenty who finally settle into continuous bliss, continual bliss. They may not do so with any sudden burst of fire and passion because marriage is not a natural state for the Virginian nature. Yet, it's surprising how many of them master its teamwork and they're almost always devoted to their families. Married or single, it's fairly simple to spot the Virgo in public. For one thing, he won't be making much noise. He's not exactly garrulous and he'll stand out as a loner. See that gentle, attractive man over there in the corner with the thesaurus under his arm? The one with the tick-tock mind, clicking away the hours neatly and methodically, noticing the smallest details. If you look closely, you can almost see him measuring each minute for what it's worth. He's a Virgo. See that quiet girl with the beautiful soft eyes waiting for the bus? Notice her spick and span white gloves, her cool manner. She'll have the exact coins for the fare ready in her hand. She wouldn't dream of asking the bus driver to change a $5 bill. She's a Virgo. Social gatherings are not the best hunting grounds when you're searching for these perfectionists. You're more likely to find them working late at the office than being gregarious at a cocktail party. It's not easy for Virgos to relax sufficiently to enjoy the carefree social swim because they're basically uncomfortable in crowds. They sometimes make attempts to follow the party routine through pure frustration, but duty whistles too insistently to allow for much frivolity. Sometimes Virgo can make Capricorn look like a good time Harry, and that's really going some. You'll seldom see them blowing bubbles in the air or building castles in the sand. Virgos are too busy to daydream, and they're usually too tired at night to wish on stars. The first thing you'll notice about the typical Virgo is the definite impression he gives that there's a serious problem on his mind, he's struggling to solve, or a vague feeling that he's secretly worried about something. He probably is. Worry comes naturally to him. One might even say he's affectionately attached to the habit. It's an intangible thing and elusive, but his delightful smile will always seem to be hiding some great trouble. Although the Ascendant and other natal positions can modify the typical Jack Spratt spare figure, you can generally look for a rather wiry build and unusually lovely, quiet eyes. Virgo eyes are often so astonishingly clear you can almost see a reflection in them. They sparkle with intelligence and clarity of thought. There's a purity and tranquility of expression on Virgo features that seem to deny those secret worries. Most of them are extremely attractive with delicate noses, ears, and lips. There's certainly no lack of grace and charm, and there may be a bit of vanity which pops up at odd moments. Virgos are very critical of their own photographs and fussy in the extreme about how they look both on film and in person. If you are observant, you'll catch them primping in front of a mirror when they think no one is looking. They're always well turned out and usually meticulous in conservative dresses. Virgo Maurice Chavier would rather be caught without a song than without his buttonier and his necktie. Tack. <laughs> the Virgo is normally a small person, certainly no giant, but he's muscular. He has far more strength than his fragile appearance suggests. These people can stand more intense work over a longer period of time than the tougher, more brawny signs, if they avoid a nervous breakdown in the process. 
Although they're externally capable and cool, inner anxieties gnaw away at them, upsetting their digestion and their emotional balance. Tackling more work than they can safely manage, and then straining themselves to the breaking point to fulfill the obligations is behind many a Virgo's ragged nerves. They were meant to be calm and soothing when their intricate and delicate mechanisms are running smoothly and the wheels aren't clogged with brain fatigue. Virgos are unquestionably dependable and sincere. Nevertheless, they're capable of pretending to be sick when they don't want to go somewhere or do something. At these times, the latent Virginian talent for acting comes forth. Occasionally, they manage to convince themselves of such imaginary ills, but the cool eye and clear head of mercury-ruled people ensure that most instances of such self-deception are short-lived. They are fastidious and exacting in grooming, eating, working, and romance. Your neat Virgo friend who looks as if he just stepped out of the shower probably did. He takes more baths and showers than any four people you know put together. He also has very precise ideas about health, little patience with laziness, and very few illusions about life and people, even when he's in love. Male or female, romance never clouds Virgo's eyes with a thick enough film to blind him to any existing flaws and shortcomings in either relationship or in the loved one. To use the idiom of the day, Virgo always knows where it's, where it's at. Though the slang-hating Virgos will shrink in distaste from that phrase. Of course, you shouldn't get the idea that everyone born in late August or September is fussy, prissy, and dogmatic. Lots of Virginians shine with a clever Mercury wit if you catch their side remarks, and they project a bright mercurial charm that is hard to resist. Sophia Loren is a Virgo, which should settle that point once and for all. You may run across a Virgo who is so busy keeping the corners of his or her mind neat and orderly that he's become careless about his clothing or his surroundings, which may fool you when you catch him in an off moment. But wait, sooner or later you'll find him picking up a pin from the rug, brushing his hair, or pinching a piece of lint off his shoulder. Although they dream very few impossible dreams, Virgos often have the inconsistent trait of looking like lovely day, lovely dreamers. As if they were all wrapped up in the very rainbows, their logical minds refuse to believe in or follow. When they're annoyed by vulgarity, stupidity, or carelessness, Virgos can suddenly become cranky, irritable, scolding, and nervous. But most of the time, they're gentle folk, and quite nice to have around, especially around the sick room. Some of the finest nurses were born under this sign, full of efficient sympathy and crisp capability. When you have a headache, your Virgo friend is the one most likely to run to the drugstore for you. If you're at his place, he won't have far to go because there will probably be a miniature drugstore right in his house. His bathroom medicine cabinet is usually loaded down with patent reliefs for stomach ache, constipation, upset liver, or acid indigestion. Peek inside sometime. He'll never take a drug unless he's familiar with each ingredient and know how it works. So he'll be an expert at telling you which remedy will be best for your headache, depending on what caused it. Virgos who travel often take their portable drug stores right along with them. They may carry an extra suitcase just for the pills and bottles. If they're used to a certain kind of brand or to a certain brand of soap or lotion, they'll tuck that in too. It would be a disaster if they happen to get stuck in a town where they didn't sell what the Virgo is accustomed to using. He usually buys his soap and sundries by the case because it's cheaper, or at least by the dozen, which is another reason he doesn't like to purchase things en route. Sometimes a Virgo will even tote his own water with him on trips. Don't laugh. Do you know what can happen to a person's stomach when certain foreign bodies in strange drinking water enter the digestive system? Virgos can tell you. When these people form habits, they form habits. 
and taking a vacation or a business trip is no excuse to break them. If he's used to keeping his socks in the middle left-hand drawer of the bureau at home, that's where the socks go in the hotel room. If it's one of those bureaus with only three large drawers and no choice of left or right, he, it can really hang him up for a while. He may end up just leaving them in the suitcase, but his sleep will be restless. The next morning, the waitress in the hotel dining room will quickly learn that the Virgo says that when the Virgo says three minute eggs, he doesn't mean two minutes and 45 seconds. Or when he says sunny side up, he doesn't mean sunny side down. And he'll definitely base his tip on her attention to such details. A Virgo may criticize your statements with hair splitting arguments, which drive you wild. But if you're in a jam, he'll also quickly step in to turn things right side up again with no motive except to serve. If the job you tackled has you so bogged down in boring details, you despair of meeting the deadline, Virgo will roll up his sleeves and pitch in willingly. It's not ego that makes him itch to take over when things are in shambles. It's just that his orderly mercurial mind can't stand procrastination, neglected details, or confusion on, of purpose. He may even straighten things out before he's asked, with no intention of rudeness, because bringing order out of chaos is instinctive with him. He is the kind of guest who will happily help the hostess clean up after the party, but he is also the kind of guest who will notice immediately that you have carefully placed the Saturday review on the coffee table to hide an ugly stain and arrange the cushions on the couch to cover the cigarette holes. Like the Libran, Virgo is quick to deny his habits and traits. He has an apparent blindness to his faults, and he seems unable to see his own weakness in as clear a light as he sees everything else. But the truth is, he does see them. And he sees them in such infinite detail that he can't bear to hear them generalized. Try to tell a typical Virgo he's critical, a worrier, fussy, neat, or unusually concerned with diet and health, and you'll face a flat denial. Who? Him? He's not like that at all. I still have the 10-page letter from a Virgo housewife, written in a tiny, precise handwriting, in which she carefully details all the reasons why the descriptions of her sun sign don't fit her never realizing that the very orderly form and length of her hair-splitting complaint was giving her away. I'm just not neat, she wrote. My house is terribly sloppy. But then she continued, after all, I do have two very small children who constantly make messes, which drives me crazy. I pick up after them every second of the day. Then she proceeded to itemize her endless chores one by one very carefully. I try to keep things in a particular spot, and I never waste time reading or watching TV like my neighbors do. But things are still untidy when my husband gets home for dinner. I don't think he has any right to complain because I do work till after midnight while he's sleeping, getting the house in shape for morning. I couldn't get breakfast in a dirty kitchen. Dirt breeds germs, and sickness spreads fast in a family. But before he leaves for work, everything's a mess again. So this neatness thing about Virgos really annoys me. I'm really not neat. I'm also not a worrier nor a hypochondriac. I never criticize my husband's mistakes with the checkbook, at least not very often, because it's not a wife's place to do that. I like to be neat, but what can I do with the children and all? Really, if you could see how they, and so on. Naturally, she carefully included a self-addressed stamped envelope for a reply. The last line in her letter wondered, can you tell me why the descriptions of my sun sign don't fit me at all? Someday I plan to have those pages framed and hang them on the wall under a symbol of Virgo. You should be able to pick out a Virgo in a room full of people with no trouble. He is incapable of sitting still for very long. After a while, he'll become visibly restless and pace the floor or change chairs like a jumping jack and protect a vague or project a vague sense of urgency, <laughs> excuse me, as if he's late for another appointment somewhere. At the same time, the facial expression will portray a certain tranquility, like a mask. The full damage caused by Virgo's nervous intensity seldom shows completely on the outside, but it surely can mess up the digestive system inside. That's why you'll often find them carrying a roll of tums, 
for the tummy. It is important to mention here the still unseen planet Vulcan, the true ruler of Virgo. Since its discovery is said to be imminent, the discovery of the true ruler of a sign changes the characteristics of those born under it. To give only one example, during the period when both Aquarius and Capricorn were ruled by Saturn, the February born, such as Abraham Lincoln, clearly showed the melancholy traits of that planet. But when Uranus, the symbol of electronics and space and the true ruler of Aquarius, was discovered in its proper time in the universal plan, Aquarians began to reflect, reflect <laughs> qualities of restless discovery and a more electric, unpredictable, progressive personality, such as that of Uranus-ruled Aquarian Franklin D. Roosevelt. Many astrologers feel that Vulcan, the planet of thunder, will soon become visible through telescopes within a few years, shortly before or after Vulcan moves close enough to the Earth to be seen. Virgo is now living, as well as those born in the future, will lose much of the mercurial pressure that causes the present nervous strain. Mercury being more compatible with the airy sign of Gemini than with the earthly Virgo. The thunderous Vulcan will also give to Virgos their astrological inheritance of courage and confidence, and will release many of the typical Virgo inhibitions. After Vulcan is discovered, the last remaining planet to be identified according to ancient predictions is Apollo, the true ruler of Taurus. Then, each sun sign will answer to the vibrations of its rightful ruler, 12 signs and 12 heavenly bodies. It's interesting to note that Vulcan in Greek mythology is the lame god with the brilliant mind. Many Virgos have a slight limp or else some peculiar and unusual quality to the walk or posture. You won't find those people lavish in affection or in spending money. They're normally prudent in both areas, giving their love quietly and steadily with little demonstrativeness. <laughs> and handling cash just as conservatively. Strangely, as willing as Virgos are to give efficient service to others, they have an almost neurotic and intense dislike of accepting favors themselves. They don't want to be obligated to anyone for any reason, and they don't want to depend on anyone but themselves for anything. The deeply embedded fear of dependence in old age is what makes many of them live so economically as to be called stingy. But that's really too harsh a word. When there's plenty of security and no need to worry about the future, Virgo will spend money more freely. Although, even then, it will be spent with full value received or back to the store for a refund. Though he has m absolutely no sympathy for beggars and idle wastrels, <laughs> he is unfailingly generous when a friend is in trouble. The Virgo, who is almost miserly where his personal needs are involved, will make charming gestures of financial aid to those who really deserve it or to people he really likes or loves. But you'll never find him throwing money away carelessly because waste is one of his pet peeves. Virgos labor hard for what they have and extravagance never fails to shock them. They usually have a few sharp things to say about spendthrifts and people who are too lazy to work. There's one thing that will remove some of the sting of Virgo's criticism, however, and that's the knowledge that he's secretly as critical of himself as he is of you. He just can't help seeing the flaws because he was born to notice the tiniest crack in the vase. He won't take to lateness any more kindly than he does to wastefulness. Actually, to be late is waste of kind. It's a waste of time, and to Virgo, Time is the stuff of which life is made. So be punctual if you want to avoid his stinging disapproval. Frank Sinatra's friends have learned that when the singer says dinner at 8, he means 8, and not 8.15 or 8.30. Although Sinatra is a warm, fiery Sagittarian by sun sign, 
He does have a Virgo ascendant, which also explains why he's so painstaking about rehearsing and such a bug for detail in music arrangements. Every note and every tone must be exactly correct when he records, or the session will be repeated until he is satisfied. Add such meticulous and impeccable taste to the Sagittarius fire and warmth, and you can see why he sells a song. It's hard to understand why Virginians are sometimes called selfish, since they usually find more satisfaction in serving others than in satisfying their own personal ambition. The selfish label probably arises from the Virgo ability to say no and really mean it. He gives freely of his time and energy, but he won't go beyond the point of reasonableness. When demands become excessive, Virgo will balk and make his objections quite clear, perhaps too clear. As much as he loves to point out the flaws of others, he fiercely resents open criticism of his own mistakes. When a Virgo makes an error, which will be rare, point it out tactfully if you want to keep his friendship. Virgos are surprisingly healthy in spite of their traveling drug stores, unless they worry themselves into illness through overwork, mental tension, and pessimism. They take good care of their bodies and they're fussy about their diets. Still, they may complain about minor ailments, such as upset stomach, indigestion, chronic pains in the intestinal area, headaches, and foot problems. Remember, Vulcan, the lame god. They should baby themselves when they have a chest cold because they're susceptible to lung ailments if their individual planets are afflicted in the natal chart. They may be plagued with pains in the hips, arms, shoulders, gout, arthritis, rheumatic troubles, and sometimes sluggish liver and back aches. But the Virgo's concern about his own health will prevent most serious illnesses. Many of them are vegetarians. If not, you can bet they know exactly what they should eat and how it should be cooked. Now and then, you may come across a germ-conscious Virgo who wears rubber gloves to mix a meatloaf or boils his toothbrush every night, but that's an extreme. Still, even the average Virgo will be sure to wash his hands with vigor before a meal. Virgos like cats, birds, and small helpless creatures. They also like truth, punctuality, economy, prudence, and discreet selectivity. They hate gushy sentiment, dirt, vulgarity, sloppiness, and idleness. Theirs is a practical nature with excessive discrimination, the true individualist, whose keen perception keeps their desires clear of muddy wishful thinking. A fresh breeze blows through the dream of a Virgo, sweeping it free of wisps of wild, inaccurate fancies. Once he's learned to master life's complicated details, Instead of letting details master him, he can shape his own destiny with more certainty than any other sun sign. Cool green shade and pure platinum complement him and bring him luck. But Virginian good fortune is always followed by five kinds of loneliness, and duty's clarion call is never still within these gentle hearts. Don't forget that the shy, wistful smile of Virgo hides a secret or two. Both the quicksilver of Mercury and the distant thunder of Vulcan run through his quiet blood. As he dresses in his favorite colors of gray, beige, navy blue, all shades of green and stark white, underneath his serious manner lies the alluring aura of the Virgin, purity of thought and purpose, symbolized by the Virgo hyacinth. Once you've known the fragrance of this Easter flower, you're never quite free of its spell. It returns each spring to haunt the memory. Virgo has its own secret way of making the heart remember.